Art therapy integrates psychotherapeutic techniques with the creative process to improve mental health and well-being. The American Art Therapy Association describes art therapy as a mental health profession that uses the creative process of art making to improve and enhance the physical, mental, and emotional well-being of individuals of all ages. It is based on the belief that the creative process involved in artistic self-expression helps people to resolve conflicts and problems, develop interpersonal skills, manage behavior, reduce stress, increase self-esteem and self-awareness, and achieve insight. As an expressive medium, art can be used to help clients communicate, overcome stress, and explore different aspects of their own personality. In psychology, the use of artistic methods to treat psychological disorders and enhance mental health is known as art therapy. Art therapists may use a variety of art methods including drawing, painting, sculpture and collage with clients ranging from young children to the elderly. In most art therapy sessions, the focus is on your inner experience, your feelings, perceptions and imagination. While art therapy may involve learning skills or art techniques, the emphasis is generally first on developing and expressing the images that come from inside the person, rather than those he or she sees in the outside world, explains Kathy Maldiochi in the Art Therapy Sourcebook. My mother was an art teacher, so I always grew up around art um, and making art, and I studied art history in college, so art's always been kind of an important part of my life, and it's even more fun when you get to do it with the little ones. I think everyone has an instinctive reaction to art, whether it's happy or sad or how it makes them feel. I think whether you like the work or not, you have some sort of reaction to seeing it, so I think any kind of art can affect people. For a lot of students, it gives them the confidence because at this age, they haven't really realized that there's limitations to what they can do or what they can make, and so I think it gives them the freedom to express themselves, and they always feel positive and happy with what they've done. And she fights for her life as she goes. For some students, even once you're kind of active, um, it can be very calming because they have something to work on and they kind of understand their product and where the end result is. Um, some kids, it kind of does stress them out a little bit if it makes them nervous, but for a lot of kids, I think it's kind of a calming experience. Um, well, obviously studying art in college um, and learning all about it kind of influenced um, the kind of teaching I wanted to do, and even before I was an art teacher, I was incorporated art into what I was doing with my students because I loved it so much. I think art therapy is used for a number of different reasons. Um, but I think it can help the students express things. I think especially young ones verbally expressing their ideas can be difficult, but most kids can put their ideas on paper and express how they're feeling that way. So I think it's generally a fun experience, especially at this age, where they haven't started feeling that nervousness or pressure about getting something done and there's not deadlines. I think it's taught for all the grades. I think it's such a good way for them to be experience different parts of the world, different um, artists, um, different important historical aspects, um, and then it's also for so many kids in terms of having freedom of expression and just sort of something, you know, for kids who are not always as academic, this is a really great outlet for them and something they can feel confident and proud of. Yeah, I think, it, you know, I, they learn basic art skills when they're younger in terms of cutting and drawing, you know, straight lines. But I think a lot of it is how to look at art and how to appreciate art um, and think critically about that, and that's something that can last them a lifetime. And she fights for her life on the train. She looks at the rain as it pours. 
And she fights for her life as she goes in a store With the thought she has caught by a threat She prays for 